The Special Olympics enters its final weekend in Berlin. But for Ukraine's team, it's already been a major win. That's Vadim Kadesichenko. He's watching his son Andrei's 50-meter breaststroke race when he won bronze. Маленький привід для радощів для людей в Україні. Вони бачать наш український дух, і вони бачать, що ми не здаємося, як мої сини. Vadim's family fled from Ukraine to Germany in March last year. That included Andre's twin brother Nikita, who also swims competitively. Soon after they arrived in Germany, Vadim looked for a place for his sons to practice because he said swimming is so central to their lives. The Special Olympics was created in 1968. Today, there's thousands of athletes with a lot of energy coming here with an expected 300,000 visitors. The aim to support inclusion for those with intellectual disabilities. More than 150 countries are competing. Ukraine's team had to overcome some extra challenges to get to the Games. Some sports facilities were damaged from the war, making practice more difficult. Vadim says that if others are inspired by his son's victory, then all the challenges they faced were worth it. Тут ми не маємо нічого, і нам нам довелося крок за кроком вибудовувати, намагатись вибудовувати і витворювати наше колишнє життя в Україні. Ukraine has hope for more medals. Several of its athletes have made it to the finals for their sports during the games last days.